What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're talking about fun gifts to get people for Christmas, or the holidays, or birthday. Doesn't matter, but these are fun camera gadgets that any photographer, videographer, cinematographer will appreciate for stocking stuffers, stuff like that. Now these are priced from pretty cheap to more expensive. I actually own pretty much everything on this list and I will show it as we go. And I've curated this list because it's just stuff that I personally enjoy and to the one or two things that I don't own, hint hint to my mother. And if you're curious about any of the gadgets I'm talking about in this video, I'll leave a link to each one down in the description. So feel free to check those out. So first things first, we have lens pouches. This may be a, a second thought, but when you have a lens like this, um, it is not a bad thing to have when you're traveling just to throw this very expensive piece of gear into a lens pouch. So any photographer will appreciate these things. And as you can see, these little lens pouches come in like little bag clippy thingies to clip it onto a bag or you know in this case if you're actually like like I do sometimes you're traveling with your lenses just in your suitcase with all your other luggage you can slip it into a pouch if it doesn't already have a pouch and keep it safe very simple gift idea I like it a lot second idea is a little miniature tripod now I chose the Manfrotto um, mini pixie tripod because this is the personal tripod that I use this camera right here is sitting on one of those Manfrotto tripods. If I could take a quick photo of what this looks like, that's a video. If I could take a quick photo of what this looks like, you can see that um, that is the tripod that my camera is currently sitting on to record this video. So I love having this little tripod in my bag for when I'm on the go. I sit on a desk somewhere if I want to record in a hotel, record on location, or like I'm going home for the holidays, I won't be in my little studio setup. I'll have to be recording at someone else's house. So there's that, and that's a good idea. Next up is camera coffee mugs. Yes, this is not a lens. This is a coffee mug. Um, I really like these. I like bringing them to the office and stuff like that because, oh, it's a lens, but it's not. Most photographers own one of these, which is crazy enough. Any photographer would appreciate this. It's a gag gift. It's kind of fun. A great stocking stuffer or birthday gift or just easy gift because it's only like 22 bucks. Makes it simple. Everybody loves it. I love having these at the office because it's always just a fun conversation starter to be drinking your tea or coffee out of a lens. And, it's just, and people that aren't typically into photography can say like, oh cool, that's such, so, such, such a cool thing. It's a lens. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool, thanks. Next, now I've done a video on this before, but this is a multiple USB port charger thing. Um, also pretty cheap, only 30 bucks, which is nice. Um, it's a USB charger with 10 ports and it might not seem like a crazy idea but it's extremely useful i have three of these plugged up in my apartment and i like to bring one in my bag when i go to the office because i just plug it up into the desk and everybody's like oh we can all charge our phones and everybody gathers around and if i reach over here and yank it you should be able to see it is that in camera yep there it is uh that is this charger i have a USB memory card plugged into it for some reason just to keep it safe uh, and a bunch of different cables iPhone iPhone cable two Apple watch cables a USB C cable going to my Nintendo switch so that is plugged up on my desk it charges everything it's probably one of the most useful things on my desk by far and I really really enjoy it so definitely a great gift idea and it doesn't break the bank next on the list is one of the most versatile tiny affordable lights I've ever used as you can see behind me, we have the Aperture Light. It's what I use to spotlight stuff. It's really awesome. I currently have a little uh, gel on it. It comes with it when you buy it, which is kind of nice. But this thing is pretty great. It comes in a, a nice little pouch when you buy it. This thing comes with other gels, a little adapter to kick it onto a camera. And yeah, it's just a little affordable little light that I use for all kinds of little shoots. And in most of my YouTube videos, I just sit it over there behind the red. And in my opinion, that is a really, really awesome, simple gift idea for any videographer. They would, it's always great to have this tiny little light in your bag for all kinds of different situations. I know everybody on YouTube has reviewed this at some point in time. Such an easy, cheap, great light that just works. Next is the Jobby Gorilla Pod. Um, this one has the ball head. Um, but this is just like the all-around 
little gorilla tripod that like everybody has. And if you're looking for a cool idea to get a new videographer or your son, child that are getting into video, this is like one of the best tripods to have. I've got a gorilla pod stored in my closet. I just don't feel like digging it out right now. I've had it for a really long time when I was more into the vlogging phase of holding the camera out in front of me and then I got tired of that. But uh, Gorilla Pods are really great because they have the flexible arms and you can actually like flex it onto like tree limbs, signposts, anything and have like a camera angle that you didn't really expect. As you can see here, it's held like this. It does all kinds of weird stuff. Oh yeah, there it is. It flexes around the, uh, the pole so you can get a nice cool shot. Uh, Gorilla Pods are definitely great for traveling and I will be taking with me when I drive to South Carolina tomorrow. Next is the Wacom Drawing Tablet which is just the coolest thing. So I'm really into drawing storyboards now, which is funny enough for like narratives and short films. Um, and this tab, the Wacom tablet is like, this is a smaller tablet that just sits right on your desk. Very straightforward, it's just made to draw with. And it's really, really great when you pair it with an application like I have on screen right now, which is a storyboarding application where you just grab your pen and you start drawing. I'm using my mouse because my Wacom is not in front of me, but it is just a, such a fun ordeal to draw with the Wacom tablet versus drawing with a mouse and creating storyboards for your films. It's just, in my my in my opinion, this is like the zen of creation, drawing a storyboard for an idea. And this storyboard app is actually really awesome. It's free. I'll leave a link in the description. It's just like the best. It's called Storyboarder. You can like record voiceover and stuff while you're doing storyboards, and it links to like Final Draft. Really, really great software. I'll do a review on this later. And the Wacom tablet doesn't cost that much, which is great. It's only 70 bucks. They've gotten really, really affordable ever since like iPads and stuff have jumped into the competitive market of being able to draw, um, which is actually a good thing for us creators. Next on my list is one of my favorite things. Now, you may be saying, why would we want to go old school and buy a Polaroid camera? But everybody loves Polaroid. Is it? I think it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Um, but I absolutely love my Polaroid camera. You can see on the fridge back there that it is covered in Polaroid pictures. Anytime somebody comes over to the apartment, I take a picture of them, I put them on the fridge. I know that's kind of weird, but you know, friends and whatnot, they're cool with it. And also, if you need to make friends, you bring a Polaroid camera with you. Say, hey people, I don't know who you are, but do you want a picture? And they're like, that's kind of weird. But it's Polaroid, and it's not weird anymore. They're like, oh, it's Polaroid, that's awesome. And I'll show you how much I actually like my Polaroid camera. Now, Polaroid film is pretty cheap, but as you can see, I have a huge stack of Polaroids that I took while I was on vacation. Find a good picture in here, somewhere. There you go. Can you see? It's kind of blurry, but there's a pyramid in the background. Yeah, I love having the Polaroid camera on hand. Kind of throw it in the bag when it's a special occasion, going on a trip or something. Or sometimes I bring it to the bar, the bars in the city when I'm meeting my friends just to have some Polaroids. Um, always fun to take pictures like that. And it's not very expensive, like 90 bucks. You can get a package and have some film. The film is actually not super expensive. You can get a pack of 4 times 20 is 80 shots for 70 bucks. I mean, not cheap, but worth it. Pictures like that just go so much farther than just snapping it on your phone and you never look at it at your phone ever again. Moving on. Now, I really like these. These are the, um, I can't pronounce it, Young No LED lights. I have three of them at my parents' house because I'm traveling there, like I said before, in a few days. And uh, it's for a shoot that I'm doing down there. So I just kind of had them like left there. But these LED lights are pretty darn cool. Um, I really like them. I've used them a bunch. And um, it's great for night styled shots. And there's a few videos online of people reviewing these. But this is the one that I found on Amazon that I really like. Good build quality. Battery life lasts a long time. Super simple. Comes with a bag. Not too expensive. And it's just a good light I, I really this is just if you're willing to spend over a little bit over a hundred bucks on your favorite photographer or videographer this is a great gift idea nothing wrong with it I like it now next up is the go-to lens that any starting or entry-level photographer should pick up it is the like cheapest lens that any manufacturer makes and every manufacturer makes one Canon, Nikon, they all make a 50 millimeter and it's always priced at about 125 bucks. And this one in particular comes with a nice kit of gadgets. If uh, you're a new photographer, you're getting into the game, 
and you, you want to get past your kit lens or what comes with your, your new camera and you don't have a 50 millimeter, it's like the most affordable and the best to start with. The f-stop is 1.8, which means you'll have that nice blowed out blurry background for portrait shots. Um, and it's a great starter lens, so you don't really break the bank with something like this, which is like $2,000. Beautiful lens, but you know, <laughs> you can't really beat this price. I could buy like 20 of these before I bought one of those, give or take, you know, 200 bucks, which is incredible. Next is the Low Pro camera bag. Specifically the Low Pro. I really like this camera bag. I own one. As you can see, Low Pro camera bag. Um, it's currently filled with stuff. I have to go shoot tomorrow, but it is wicked great, and I, I just like this camera bag. Build is great, quality is great, it will last a very long time. I actually have a larger version, it was like the $250 version, it's a little bit bigger on the inside. This is a smaller version I think I have on screen, but there's no denying that this is just a great camera bag, I like it. I mean, if you're not sure about which one to get, I really consider low pro camera bags. Doesn't necessarily have to be this one, the company does a great job, and if you're curious, and you're willing to spend a little more money, I highly recommend low pro. This was not a sponsored video, I just like low pro. Next up is a more professional gadget that I think is really interesting. It's the Loop Deck, which is a basically a catered keyboard for creative editing. It can be used for Lightroom, Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, all kinds of other applications, and you can basically control aspects of the software. So in this case, if you're using it for Premiere, you can control Lumetri Color and change the contrast, exposure, color saturation, all these different things with the keys, which gives you much more fine-tuning control. Now this is more geared towards professional editors, colorists, people who spend a lot of time doing this work. For me, I typically stick to my keyboard because my videos just kind of get punched out and my color is all set up normally, but when I shoot a film and I work with a colorist, um, they typically have something like this to dial in their look, their work, and they spend a lot of time. So I really like the Loop Deck. Now our next object is a little more expensive, but also comes with a lot of the same qualities. Although, I think I prefer the Loop Deck. Now, you've seen these before online, but it is the Palette Control Surface Kit, which is basically these little clicky palette things. I've seen a bunch of videos on them, and I think they're really cool. I've used them a few times but they click together and you can control different pieces of the software. For instance, the picture on screen, this could be your this could be your exposure, this could be your contrast, this could be your saturation. You just assign those things. It tells you what piece of software you're using right here and you can lay those across your keyboard. Um, they would be right here on my desk. Makes it simple. It's a little more pricey, but definitely a really nice gift to get someone you really care about. 300 bucks, most expensive gift on this list, but definitely really cool. You can actually expand the palette get a larger set from the Pro, there's the starter kit, stuff like that. The Pro's a little more expensive, it's like 500 bucks, but it comes with a lot more dials and controls that you can customize stuff to. So exposure, contrast, blacks, whites, shadows, highlights, stuff like that. Whatever, you can customize it. But that is my list. I own pretty much everything you've seen, and I've had a lot of experience with it. Like I said before, nothing wrong with Polaroid camera. Absolutely love it. But if you're looking for new ideas, questions, comments, leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to respond very quickly. You see a lot of videos like this, but I just wanted to leave some of my suggestions, some of the objects that I've liked, I've had experience with, and things that I would personally really enjoy getting myself as a gift, especially as a cinematographer here in New York City and video producer and, you know, make a lot of different videos. It's for work, for YouTube, all of the above. As always, I'm Max. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel and you like my sweater, feel free to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. As always, I'm Max. Peace. I also have a red hat. Just got my red hat. And you can't deny that it's Goku. Ultra Instinct.